What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, y'all liked my last video where we was checking out some of the loudest pops from like Royal Rumbles, Elimination Chamber matches. Y'all definitely running up the views and the likes on that video. So, we had to check out WWE Most Insulting Chants in History. Now, it's good to know that the crowds will be coming back this year in a couple months. I believe you guys were saying sometime in July. The crowds will be allowed to come back so i'm looking forward to that it's going to make these shows a whole lot better in my opinion because there's going to be actual fans there to voice their opinion on certain things that's happening in the ring other than the virtual fans that we have right now in the thunderdome so i'm looking forward to that um and i just want to check out some nostalgia crowd chants because if you guys don't know wwe fans can be very vocal in certain cities and certain areas and they will let you know how they feel in the ring like any wrestling in the ring they'll let you know if they like you they'll let you know if they hate you and they'll let you know if they want you off like off the tv out the ring don't want you to wrestle anymore that's what makes wwe fans sometimes great and sometimes toxic but we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support road to 40k we're almost there and uh let's do this <laughs> he <was> in, huh? <laughs> he gave him the the, the, the the fu champ. Nobody would nobody would even care in the United States at all. Expert tag team work. Batista may be used to overpowering his. Oh, not to change the channel, champ. ECW man, yo, them fans was hardcore for real, for real. <laughs> Feel the same way. <laughs> Funny thing is, the Miz did win that WrestleMania too. He he won at at WrestleMania and retained the championship. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is when Samoa Joe had got busted open legit, and there was blood everywhere. So the crowd was like, fuck PG. <laughs> they was like, nah, man, come on, bro. Let us see the blood. <laughs> you see? I, I had to stop this again. The, the fucking Roman chants, man. It would hit different now because he's a heel. And we're legit saying F you because you're you're a piece of crap, character-wise. You know what I'm saying? But back then, he was a face and he was getting those type of chants. You're supposed to be a heel to get those type of chants. Roman's still the best thing on television right now. Don't at me. <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. Boo! The tag team match as the frenemies. Oh. Youngsters from NXT make an impact earlier on already tonight. <laughs> yeah, Machine Gun Kelly, MGK. And he's getting booed by this crowd of the American Airlines Arena. Jesus. Seth Rollins tops my list. <laughs> Himself. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Roman sucks. Roman sucks. It's been amazing. I mean, <laughs> take a moment to say it is. A if we could all just stand up Come bro it's so crazy because rollins was a face at this point <laughs> and it's funny man they really should have embraced it let jason jordan get into that heel character because no one cared about jason jordan bro they shouldn't have never split him up with chad uh uh i think he was with chad gable in american alpha they should have never split that tag team up but hey hey what do i know come on get my dad this is appropriate action, appropriate chant because he's a heel at this point. This is the heel rock, Hollywood rock. Stop it! 
style slow down here. <laughs> This was such, at this point, Ciampa was the best heel in WWE. At this point, his feud with Johnny Gargano, bruh, he was literally just despicable to the point where the crowd is chanting F you on live television, bro. Like, that's how good of a heel he was, bro. At this point, no one was a better heel than Ciampa, bro. Hands down. And this was a fantastic match. I love this match. Tommaso Ciampa brothers <laughs> doing all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was the night after he beat The Undertaker, and we all thought he retired The Undertaker. He didn't say anything. And I actually liked this because I thought for a second they were teasing him to become heel. I think... This was the moment he should have became heel. Comment down below if you agree with me. After he beat The Undertaker, that next night on Monday Night Raw, that was nuclear heat. The heat that he should be getting as a heel, but he was still a, technically a face. Because yeah, at the end of this whole little segment, all he said, this is my yard, walked out the ring. Crowd is giving him nothing but hate for like 15 minutes damn near. Just hate. And then the next week, it comes out as a face still. And I was like, bro, they had the opportunity to turn him heel. If he would have just been like, man, screw the fans. I'm going to do whatever I want to. I t retired The Undertaker. Bro, you have a star instantly because now everyone wants to see him get his ass beat, bro. But, hey, we got the Roman we got now. So, I, hey, man, I'm. The timing could have been a little bit better, but we got what we, we've deserved for a long time. A actual heel character that we want to see lose for the right reasons. <laughs> that always was going to stay with him. Less than 24 hours after being assaulted by one of the baddest women in the world. Goodbye, God. I did make that transition. You I deserve it. <laughs> Fuck up. Okay, I can stop. <laughs> so, gentlemen, may we please have a little respect for Stephanie McMahon. Boo! And I love that. They knew. Everyone just wanted to see Stephanie get beat up. Everyone wanted to see that, man. And I like the fact that I think that was the WrestleMania. Ronda and the, was it? Was it that WrestleMania where Ronda got in the, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. Because I remember there was a WrestleMania where Ronda got into the ring with The Rock. It was like a little quick segment. That was the situation. But I know she ended up having an actual match like that. Like, I want to say maybe the next year. It was one of the better matches. Like, it was her actual first in-ring debut at WrestleMania. And I think that was the WrestleMania where she tapped out. Uh, Stephanie McMahon. So I could be wrong. Comment down below. Let me know. I know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm thinking. I'm, I'm just getting old, man. I'm just getting old. <laughs> ECW, man. Some of the best friends. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all remember that phase when Roman had contacts? Oh my god. He had contacts that have blue eyes. Oh, the cringe. God damn it, the cringe, man. Big Show screwed me. PW, no man alive. That can do anything to me. <laughs> I remember that. They threw back the shirt. Okay. That's love. Such a, a crazy crowd, bro. You get that kind of kid directed after the senior. Cena. So I'd like to offer this footage from last night's WrestleMania. Fire roll. Yeah, we understand this is the closing. This Sunday at...
This Sunday at SummerSlam. <laughs> this Sunday at SummerSlam. <laughs> I'll stay here all night. I'll stay here all night. What a prima donna. <laughs> ECW One Night Sam was one of the one of the greatest crowds in the wrestling history. Bro. Put it, the red carpet was rolled out for Oscar. Yeah. Such a high profile signing <laughs> to the women's division. He's doing a great job going right down the line. He don't wow. think that time is right. 22 in Chicago. This? John Cena versus no. Triple H. And, <laughs> and Brock Lesnar. With the Rock. But just always. Over and over again. <laughs> Edges down, Brian down. The reigning winner of the second annual Andre the Giant Battle Royal, the Big Show. <laughs> said, please retire to the Big Show. That's so messed up, bro. <laughs> Got that head reeled back, and it makes it much harder, I would think, to roll into the side headlock and get to your name. Having a basketball team in Seattle. Oklahoma City. Now I get that. <laughs> really upset them here, but uh, you know what else is in my thing? <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore all of you the way you deserve to be ignored. Is our own champion, a man who hopes to remain champion. They <laughs> hate John. <laughs> Tonight, I leave the WWE. <laughs> it's supposed to be a serious moment. A moment, of, yes. Leave, John. Fuck you. <laughs> he can do nothing but laugh. Some of you cheering because I just got my ass kicked. Roman Reigns. You both suck. John Cena's nose crack on my knee. <laughs> Bro, I want y'all to understand. That was accidental. He was not trying to actually crack John Cena's nose, but he broke his nose. Like, you could, it was brutal. He was a heel at this point. Seth Rollins was a major heel at this point. And he became, for the time being, a mega face, especially in this promo. Because people were just like, thank you, bro. You ended John Cena. He's out of here. Thank you so much, bro. Huh? You see the look? <laughs> this was great, man. This was great. I can't wait for the crowds to come back, man. It's going to be amazing. Just to have some fans, live fans, more than what NXT has behind the little plexiglass. Like actual rows and rows of fans. It's going to be cool. I'm not even going to lie to you. The fans that go to Monday Night Raw, I think they're just going to go just so they can see some live wrestling. I hope that people that's booking that show when it does happen, they put on a good show for them. They entertain them. Not like they've been doing for the past few months on, on television with no fans and live attendance. They need to entertain these people that are paying their hard-earned money to come to these shows because if they keep putting on the same bull crap that they've been putting on Monday Night Raw in front of a live crowd, I want that live crowd to let them know how much this sucks, this show sucks, and we want our money back. I want them to do this on live television so they can get their act together and put on some better shows so that way more people will be interested in watching. But I appreciate y'all and all the love and support, man. Road to 40K, appreciate y'all kicking in with me, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.